I wish I knew more songs that were like up, you know, like fun like that. <laughs> I do another uplifting fun one. Mm. I know I'm sitting here, I'm like, what songs do I know? Like the you know, honestly, and this is gonna be so cliche, I only know like for gospel songs, like this little light of mine. <laughs> 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 I'm being totally honest because I've never Never really went to church in my life. My grandparents went to residential school. My grandmother was very religious, but my dad, on the other hand, wasn't. My dad's an atheist. My mom is a Christian, but they let us choose. So we just never went to church at all. It wasn't wasn't like anything that was we were told not to do. You know, like if you want to go to church, go to church. Like I went to Sunday school a couple times with some friends and I sat there and I got bored. So I told my parents, I'm like, uh, I don't yes. want to go back. And they're like, yeah, okay, you don't have to go back. But you've never, <laughs> the, the thing was like, you never got to experience what these youth rallies were like. Yeah. You know, like. Well, uh, I'm not a youth no more. I know, but <laughs> growing up, I thought it was the coolest thing. Like, I'm excited for my children to experience that now. Mm -hmm. I never thought that I was actually going to ever yeah. kind of choose that life. You know, like I spent the majority, like half of my life actually just like, can you just leave me alone? Can you just let me live my life, God? You know, like why do you have to give me all of these, these hard, you know, tasks in life? You know, he gives like, what is that saying? He gives the hardest battles to his strongest warriors. Like, I don't want to be a warrior anymore. You know, yeah, this... I don't want to do it anymore. Like, quit picking on me. You know, thank you for making me stronger, but please, like, give me a break. I used to say things like that, you know, I'm like, yeah, I never thought that I would actually choose to, to, to go to church. And it was like, this time I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see, I want to see for myself what my family has been talking about. You know, like I grew up like around surrounded by Christians, the majority, you know, like that's why I don't know anything about native cultural stuff. Right. Yeah. Like I've tried. I was like, they don't want me either. <laughs> I, yeah. It's just, you know, it's, it's tough for a lot of people. I think it's like, it's tough for a lot of people both ways. Right. Like, yeah, because like we talked with Kurt before, remember? And when his mom went to residential school and she came back, she, she was scared of like them singing and stuff in their own language because she was taught that it was wrong at school right and so it's hard that way for people to get involved in traditional culture and i've seen that when i worked in as a frontline worker too we used to do um staff sweats so we go to sweat lodge and um people would come there for their first time and like there was um just people that that seemed to struggle with that because they talked about it they they struggled with their beliefs in christianity and wanting to go to ceremony and and I just like, from what I said to you before, is like I think if it if it works for you and you believe in that, I think that's great. And if your life is better because of it, hundred percent, do it. You know, like, yeah. and that goes for, you know, doing ceremony and things like that as well. For our traditional culture, like if it feels good and you want to live your life that way, do that. I think there's like ups and downs in both, whatever I think you so, choose. For like, sure. Like, you know, like the nothing thing is perfect because everything involves humanity. Yeah. Right. Like, if people that in the church are human, people that go to ceremony are human, and humans are flawed and we all make mistakes and nothing is going to be perfect in our lives. That includes how we choose to worship as well. So, I mean, like I said, if it's good energy and you know, it's making you feel better physically and emotionally. Go 100% do it. Dive in. Do your thing. Because if it's making your life better, then I'm 100% for it. You know <laughs> what I you. mean? <laughs> it's really cool that, that, you know, like, I remember feeling like, how am I even going to, how am I going to be that person now, that online presence? Um, how are people going to treat me now? Am I going to start losing followers you know what I mean? Like just because I'm changing the direction of my music and, and, and whatnot. I thought about it for a little over a year, actually a long time. 
Um, well, now you know, like, I don't have many followers, so I don't worry about stuff. <laughs> right? I'm like, they follow me because of country music, and now all of a sudden I'm just going to switch up on them. No, and... I think they follow you because of you. <laughs> and I mean, like, and that's that's the thing. Like, I think what makes you interesting is your journey and how you're trying to get better all the time. And I think people are attracted to that. You know what I mean? Like they want to know more. They want to know if you're succeeding in what you're trying to do, because isn't that every human's goal is to be better than they were, you know, last year or last week or. Yeah, exactly. Cause like for the, the thing though, is that I, I felt like I was obligated to do whatever it is that, you know, everybody else wanted to see from me. I also right. felt obligated, you know, like I was so worried to like to tell Darren what I wanted to do. <laughs> and, you know, and I was in I don't want I don't want to walk away from like music. It was the type of music or what I was doing, you know. I, I like want to take say, a different direction in it. You that's know what all. I like to say it all that. <laughs> like just like, do what makes you happy exactly. because life is too short and if you're if you're not happy doing something don't do it yeah. if you know if a gig isn't working for you don't do it anymore like you know what i mean if people are negative with you don't be around them you know like just life is too short for negativity and for unhappiness i think anyways absolutely 